What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today, we're talking about Tesla's Q4 delivery numbers. They came out just after the bell today, hot off the press. This is the most important number I track for Tesla. It's how many cars did they deliver to customers during the quarter. Let's get right into the results. Tesla delivered 29,870 vehicles during the quarter. This is an all-time record epic. 15,200 were Model S, 13,120 were Model X, and 1,550 were Model 3, a 27% increase over Q4 2016, and a 9% increase over Q3 2017, which was previously the best quarter. They have exceeded the annual guidance of 100,000 Model S and X deliveries by delivering over 101,000, a 33% increase over 2016. In addition, they had about 2,500 Model S and X in transition to customers during the end of the quarter. Quarter, and about 860 Model 3s. I'm a huge fan of these numbers. I think this is an awesome quarter. As you can see by the chart, I mean, Tesla has just consistently been growing its production and its deliveries since they introduced the Model S in Q3 2012. The most deliveries in Tesla history, a new record. It's been in a consistent uptrend ever since they started delivering cars. I mean, I just think Tesla is a nonstop growth machine. Here's the evidence. But here's the issue everybody on Wall Street is going to be beefing about. These are going to be all the headlines tomorrow. They have once again put push back the target production run rate of 5,000 Model 3s per week by one more quarter. Remember, they had said that by the end of Q1 2018, they expected production of the Model 3 to be at 5,000 cars per week. Now that goal has been pushed back to Q2 2018, another three months, and they expect to be at 2,500 cars per week by the end of Q1. Yes, this is a disappointment. Yes, they have missed their guidance once again, but I don't think this is a real issue. As you can see in the press release, I think it's really fascinating to note that Tesla says, we continue to focus on quality and efficiency rather than simply pushing for the highest possible volume in the shortest period of time. We expect to have a slightly more gradual ramp through Q1. So yes, I'm kind of bummed that Tesla keeps missing their promises, but I think they had such a lofty goal of expanding production of this totally new vehicle so rapidly, they kind of shot themselves in the foot. At the end of the day, they delivered 1,550 Model 3s. That was you know, up almost five, six, seven times from the previous quarter of 220 Model 3 deliveries. And they also indicated that the very last weeks of the quarter, they were producing cars at a thousand a week run rate at some point. And you know, this goes to all the evidence you've been seeing on Electric and the video I made. You know, there's hundreds, if not thousands of Model 3s ready for customer deliveries that have been spotted in parking lots. I think Tesla, the worst of production hell is behind them. That is the good news. I think they're going to ramp deliveries significantly in 2018. Yes, it's a bummer that they're a quarter delayed, but at the end of the day, this isn't going to matter. I still think they're going to be able to deliver 200,000 Model 3s this year. So I'm sticking by that. And I really think everybody gets too wrapped up in the quarterly numbers. If you look at the annual basis, Tesla has had consistent growth every single year. 2017 was awesome with a about 103,000 deliveries total. This was a 35% increase from the year before. And I know you guys want to see what I'm doing for 2018. So check this out. If you had to put a gun to my head and I had to guess what we're looking at in 2018, I'm thinking that Tesla's going to deliver about 305,000 cars up 196% from 2017. This is on the back of 200,000 Model 3 deliveries. Remember that 5,000 per week production run rate is equivalent to about 250,000 units per year. They're going to hit that halfway through the year and then keep scaling production as the year goes on. So even assuming that Tesla can deliver 200,000 Model 3s in 2018 seems to be conservative based on the guidance they're given. The number to watch here is that the overall deliveries are almost 30,000 this quarter, a new all-time record. We're going to see all-time records in revenue for the automotive business when they report their financials in a month. I'll make another video on that when that comes out. Let me know you guys think in the comments was this what you're expecting are you bummed that they're pushing back guidance this is hyper chain see you guys next time peace